Hey there everybody, this is Squish with Squish Tech Industries and we are going deeper into eternal darkness and wow, what a journey we've had so far. We just shotgunned some guy in the face, which honestly that's a good call for any game really. Some spooky gargoyle plaques up above. We got some kind of Resident Evil camera thing going on. God dang it, you're gonna really make me step on this crap? finish him with this. Give me back some of that juice. Alright, that's it. So this hall doesn't have anything else. We're about to find the old god here in a little while. Or the, uh, the meaty one, whatever his name was. Okay, I'm gonna need to equip this. Avoid these pressure plates. We can avoid these pressure plates. We don't have to deal with no none of that bullshit that it tries to pull on us. It's like the fucking gas. That's what gets me though. Fucking poison gas. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Why well, does piss something off? There it is. May as well run now. The poison gas I was just warning us about. May as well fucking light these ones up. Nah, no, that's a bad idea. That's gonna definitely be a bad guy. Fuck, man. Dude, I need to get out of here. Heading them seems to be the best way to go. Just seeing if there's any way to do combos, that'd be cool. Not that it's necessary. A dilapidated mural depicts the ancient Khmer people coexisting with some kind of fertility god. They offer sacrifice to the beast and they return to the shower with benevolence, good crops, and hunting. Yeah, there you go. Don't fuck me. Don't fuck me. I have a sneaking suspicion. That something's gonna come in here and it's gonna fuck me. And it's this thing right here. It's this set of plates right here I can't dodge. You know, I do the wall crush bit. At least there's no poison. How's my health? Bad. Oh, 
Oh, these guys are fucking made of. What am I doing? Okay. Let me use the Kukri to finish him off. Dude, if I had to choose the knife to carry around, it would probably be the Kukri. Probably like, like a, I'd only get like 12 inch ones, but. Just because I like camping and stuff, and they kind of. They're not as good as an axe, but they work like one, especially when using it on soft foliage and stuff. Tell me what this one says. I want to I wanna see this one. Oh, no, this is the one where they... He banishes them. Uh, a damaged engraving on the wall depicts a skeletal demon befriending the ancient Khmer people. To Lindsay's eyes, the demon looks exactly like Paul Augustine's undis undisguised form. Yeah, pretty much. He even still dresses like a Roman, for some reason. I guess he just never got over it. <laughs> you lost, dude. Get over it. I'm about to get fucked, aren't I? Yep. Darts. I hate darts. You know I hate darts, people. Why you gotta do this to me? Damn. Ow. I'm not turning undead, am I? No, I'm fine. Scroll of paper. Summon trapper. Summon trapper. Oh! Oh, trapper! Trappers are the little guys. They'll send me to go get my health back and all that. So they're actually really useful. These guys are getting on my nerves. Look at that little one, though. Alright, let's not make me go mad here. What the fuck, bro? Strategy for this guy. No, stop. You're nasty. These guys are blue, so do red. what being insane does. Lindsay finds this mural frighteningly familiar. It is the scene he saw in the Tome of Eternal Darkness. The fertility god must be Mantarok, and this temple must be its tomb. Yeah, that looks about right. Although he's in a poor state now. I'm gonna go ahead and save it though, because being insane... I feel like will get me killed. So I would really like to see a little bit about because it doesn't seem to affect your health any, except when they uh, start attacking you and your insanity is already depleted. All right, maybe I should come at this guy. All right.
power of Mantarok is not easily controlled. Yeah. What makes Go you figure. think I want to control it? Oh God. <laughs> Arrogant man. Kill him. Make sure you succeed this time. Mantarok, help me out. Thanks, bro. Pius is pissed. The darkness shall prevail. Mantarok is not on my side. He just hates you more than me. <laughs> like, he would also like to rule the world, I'm sure. The corpse god Mantarok defies all human description. Mass him? Well, well, those are two ways to describe him. Massive and amorphous. That's not defying anything. Perhaps, but these words only capture the gross nature of the beast, not the specifics. Its form, seemingly without design or true function, stirs at Lindsay's nears, awakened by its presence. Oh, stirs as Lindsay's nears. With every breath, the creature's many mouths sigh and cough, sputtering in its torturous death throes. Dude, Indiana Jones is a boss. He doesn't give a fuck about this thing. He's like, whatever. Whatever. I've seen worse than this guy. <laughs> Should have seen the Lost Ark. That thing was savage. Melted some guy's face. Haven't seen you do anything like that. Manta douche, as you'd say. Look at all these eyes that are getting poked out. Just saying. Don't have to be a dark god to figure that out. Whatever. Here we go. Some clothes I can take. Oh no, that's not clothes, that's a skeleton. Oh no, that's her. Oh no, Do she has- Do not touch the heart, flesh and bone, lest you become like me, a dead, rotted husk. I have waited many centuries for you. It was not easy hiding from the Dark Ones as they searched for me. At first they passed by, not thinking that the heart was inside my dead body. But I was forced to find refuge here. You must seal the heart so it never contacts your flesh and take it to the gathering of light. Uh. Take the heart there, or the world shall fall under a reign of eternal darkness. Okay. The veil of reality right. can only be pulled back so far, mortal. Take your stand and fight the darkness. I can't touch that, or else I'll turn into a nasty. Oh wow, that was easy. Oh no, my grandpa. And then he puts it in the bookshelf. Oh wow, so I need to dank ass me. Well, I guess I know where to find it now. Question is, what will I do with it when I do find it? Oh shit, the stars are aligned. It's all over for me. Yeah, this place does not look great. What do I got? I feel like I'm going to need that soon. Question is... This is where it is, right? Oh, fuck! <laughs> Did you see that fucking book? Here it is! Alex discovers a pulp novel written by one Dr. Edwin Lindsay amongst the books on the shelf. This is where the Tome of Eternal Darkness indicated that something of value was hidden. Should he? Should I look behind the book? Hell yeah, look behind the book. And it's the Heart of Mantarok. Encased in the glass to protect the world from its corrosive energies. Yeah, I'll take it.
Is that it? What the fucking fuck? Am I going mad? Yeah, I'm going mad, that's why. <laughs> Alright, let's check this telescope room. Okay, so if I... If I put this on... No. Uh, Mantrax heart pulses with unholy life. Alright. I really don't know what to do about this. I'm gonna try looking through the telescope. Is that possible? Nope. Right. That thing just makes me look at the other one. Although, full disclosure, I don't actually know what to do now. I got the heart. These books contain the history of the, yeah. Uh, as Mediterranean immigrants, the early Roivas were shunned by other settlers, suspected of witchcraft. The Roivas were convicted during the witch hunts, forcing them into hiding. As memories faded, the Roivases built, rebuilt their life. lives. Excuse me. I'm sorry if my narrating is kind of choppy right now. I'm just speeding through the reading and not taking my time. That's why I stumble on things sometimes. But I'm kind of sure what to do here. Is that me? Okay. Yep. Oh my god. The darkness is coming. Uh-huh. Well, there's that. Nothing. If I had that crow statue, I could open the sucker up again. It's in here. Nothing. Uh, the fuck? <laughs> okay, so I guess I'm locked in here now. I think it's the insanity messing with me. That is fucking cool. Alright, we checked in there. Time to go up here. Alright, see, when you're insane, this thing starts looking at you funny. spooked on me last time. Nope. I'm glad it only tries to jump you once, though. With this, It won't jump you with the same thing. Probably. But, uh... It's just a fucking well-designed game. I would be very proud of this project. That statue freaked me out there for a second. Alright, what we got in here? Nothing. That room's dark. All right, all right, all right. So, we figured out how to get rid of this. I gotta use dispel magic. Dispel magic, and blue takes out green. No? Really? Is that not what takes out green? Okay, alright, alright. What takes out green then? If it's not blue... It's not red. Red takes out blue. 
retakes I've had. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try red first. <laughs> Pretty sure green does. I mean, blue does. The magical window fades away, and the piece of parchment that the maiden was holding is left behind, floating in midair. It appears to be a chapter page. I do want a chapter page. Heresy. powerful spells. I still only have that one triangle spell. Oh fuck. I am not your fool today. I am your master. Your task is to guard the artifact before you. Let no one touch it. Alright, so eventually I'm gonna have to kick that thing's ass. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to share it with your friends. You like it down at the bottom. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>